Welcome everybody to Late Night Racing's Sunday Night Series, uh, Feather Night Cup. So tonight is round three, coming to you from Zoldar. And once again, this is a one make series. Everyone's in the Ferrari 296 GT3. Battery in the controller is about to shit itself. No! <clears throat> Why is that not working? Uh, talk about being fucking disorganised. Oh man. Why does that not work? It should work. Anyway, so tonight we've got practice, 20 minutes. And then we have qualifying, 10 minutes. Then we go into an hour. Oh, that's not fucking charging. What's going on here? Right. Hang on a sec. I'll sort this shit out. So, so far we've had good turnouts for this series. We've had usually around 16 to 19 on the grid, so hopefully we get the same tonight. All the usual suspects are here at the moment. Let's see if this one... Yeah, that's charging, sweet. So, I can finally finish what I was doing. Just... sharing out the stream. Alright. Uh, thanks, Paul. I will have a good call tonight. If Hoping I can see all the vehicles. So, so far, we have Haymaker that set the best time so far with a 32.93. Uh, up the dub. Where is dub here? He's sitting in the pits, contemplating life, thinking of the track through his head, looking at that map on the steering wheel. He'll be out to settle that soon. Shooter has been very quick in this, and he's been setting the pace pre-practice into the low 30s so he'll be one to keep an eye on there you go out back straight away with a 31.54 puts him to the top at the moment if we just go back I just want to confirm so track temperature 24 degrees ambient temperature is 24 degrees and partly cloudy but the track is fast, so it's already past the green stage. And there's quite a few out on track. It's like we've got Hobbsy about to settle that. I'm just going to get rid of that. Hobbsy does. Is that a 32.9? A 33 flat, pretty much. So everyone's about to start another another flying lap. Next in the category is Outback. Just coming up to the back hairpin. And not far behind him is Shooter who will be ready to set his first lap. So can Outback better his time? What has he got? 31.40, so one tenth up on his best lap. As Shooter comes up to the line. 
and posts a 32-1. So not bad for a first lap. Pickle straight up to second place with the 32 flat. Nice lap from Pickle. M4A has just shot up with the 31.7 as well. That's a really good result. So, getting a bit of temperature into these tyres, the more laps that they do. There's M4A there, about to start another flyer. And he's up on his time. Here we go, Haymaker's eight tenths up on his best. And they puts him into a 32.13, good enough for fifth at the moment. T-Dub goes through to start his flying lap. Outback is pushing hard. Two tenths up on that. That sector there. Lost a little bit on exit. But he's still one and a half tenths up. Nice and smooth under brakes through the final chicane. Gained some time on exit there. He's gaining heaps of time. He's now almost three tenths up. That's a 31-1-2. Just as on a good lap here too. Metal shoot and that did a 31-5-3. Looks like. Pickle with a 31-8. So comfortably getting into the 31s now. So still only nine in the field at the moment. Don't know where Sparrow is at the moment. Don't know if are you racing tonight, Sparrow, or what? Ooh, a little bit loose there from Outback. Pushing a little bit hard through that chicane. Nice and smooth on exit through there. What can he do? No, he can't better his time. Here comes Shooter. Shooter to the top with a 31-0-2. Pickle one-tenth faster than his, his best lap. We've got RMR Dizzy coming up to the final chicane. What can he put on the board? He's sitting on the 32-4 at the moment. Slightly improves by three one hundreds. I was still pushing hard, and we've got T Dub. Yeah, he's got some temp into those tyres. What can he put on the board? T Dub moves to fifth with a thirty two one. It's not bad. The more laps you do, the more the more tire temp and pressure you get, the quicker this car gets. I know, like I said, we'll be aiming for mid uh, 30s for qualifying, I believe. Oh, teed up a little bit wide, throws up the dirt, but keeps his foot in it. Out back now, into the 30s, 30.912. Obviously across the line. There's the fifth. With the 32... 32-1. 32-08. So pretty much 32-1. And Bale's out of it there. 
So jump on ball with the outback. See how this car handles the track. Handles those bumps nicely. Get the turn in all the way out to the ripple strip. Oh, it hugs the inside curb. You can keep it flat through that section, you're doing well. That's where you gain a lot of time in this back section. So Sparrow said he's going to be a late entrant, but that's alright. As long as you're here for the race, mate. Anything can happen over an hour, we know that. Jester's on a cracking lap here. He's six tenths up on his best. He's trying to hunt down Hobbsy in front of him. Nice exit. Uses all the exit curb there. Deep under brakes into the hairpin. Still seven tenths up. This is going to be a good lap here from Jester. Now nine tenths up. He's onto a second up here. So this is going to put him as the 32, 31, 3, 6. Just put him into third position. That's a good result so far. He knows the car's got potential. So that's positive for going into qualifying we've just under seven minutes left of practice everyone's still just trying to work out tire pressures cambers casters trying to get the car just to flow nicely and mr not so fast halley has showed up so he is the the leading champion in championship points for this round or for this series i should say so we'll be keeping an eye on him. In saying mid 30s for qualifying, we'll be looking probably low to high 29s for Halley. So we'll keep an eye on him when we get to, get to see him out on track. T Dub through the back chicane, nice and smooth. On par pretty much with his best lap of a 31.5. Gained a little bit of exit time there. Deep under brakes and managed to gain another two tenths. So he's got this thing working well under brakes. He comes up to the final chicane. Four tenths up. Gets it turned out nice, all the exit curb. So this will put him into the low 31s. 31, 2, 3, puts him to fourth. Shooter and out back in the pits. So far, one and two. Probably doing a few slight tweaks. Think we're just getting some, some laps in. I think he might be setting up some race pace. Seeing how the car handles. M4A coming out for round two in practice. Ali's still sitting in the pits, going through a setup. So Hobbs is on for a good one here. He's three tenths up on his best, which is a 32-0. Sitting in 8th place at the moment. Nice and smooth through the back section there. Coming up to the last complex of corners. The last chicane. Deep under brakes. Usually using that 100 metre marker board as your, as your braking marker. It turned in nicely. Still two tenths up. This will put him into the ones. 31.86. Still sits in 8th spot. So that just goes to show, if we have a quick look at the, the board, so tight in the top eight, top eight is separated by under a second. 
Tito now moves into second place with a 30.927. So once again, there's nothing between them. No, there's one tenth between the top four. There's four tenths between the top five. And then there's nine tenths between the top eight. So it looks like we're going to be on for a good battle here tonight. Well, we've got Hobbsy stopped and he's fast track back to the pits. T Dob's still going on for a flyer, so we'll jump on ball with him. There's Mr. Dub himself. Oh, lost a little bit of time there. We've got someone sitting out in the weeds there, that's just up. He's dropped nine tenths off, so he's probably just backed out of it. Get ready for another flying lap. So, just under three minutes to go in practice. Pickle's still pushing on. It's been pretty consistent. Staying in the 31s. Back to Pickle. While we're here, give the big shout out to Mrs. Pickle. He'd be tuning in, watching the stream. Appreciate the support and yep. Go the pickle. Hopefully tonight we can have a good result. Last week involved in a few incidents. So hopefully the demon's off his back and he can have a good run tonight and have no no racing incidents where he's been taken out numerous times this man has had the most unfortunate run of races every race for the last i'd say close to two months he's been involved in incidents so everyone back behind pickle and wishing him a good race tonight with <laughs> free incidents uh, hallie's still sitting in the pits Sparrow has made it. So Sparrow's about to start a flying lap. Haymaker's on par with his best lap. Just about just starting a new lap anyway. Sitting in ninth. So just on a minute to go. So it looks like this will probably be the last lap for most people. As T Dub comes up to start his last lap in practice. So we'll go back to the garage. You can see on the map down there, everyone's pretty much around the back section. Pretty much say that this will be the last lap for everybody. Uh, Hobbsy is on a, a dirty lap, that's why he's blue. So unless he can make it past the start finish line with 22 seconds to go, which I dare say he probably will, he'll be able to start a flying lap. Yeah, 10 seconds to go. Hobbs is on his last lap now. So here comes Haymaker. Down the back straight. To end our practice, first one across the line. Is there any improvements? Sitting in ninth. Yeah, he will stay in ninth. So we've got... Sparrow doesn't... Oh, Sparrow sets the time, but sits in 10th. RMR Dizzy is in 4th. With a 31... 1, I think it is. Close. We'll have a look at the times exactly when we finish. Here comes T-Dub. Sitting in 2nd. Does he better the time and take 1st? Oh. Green light. Give it all you can. That's not very nice. Oh, point... 015 so one one hundredth of a second of outback in practice so so far outback fastest in practice with the 30.91 feet up with the 30.92 shooter with the 3102 
Dizzy with the 3107. Pickle with the 3112. Jester with the 3138. M4A 3170. Hobbsy 3186. Haymaker with the 3213. And Sparrow with the 3426. Now he hasn't had any practice there, so that will get quicker. But there you go. Over the top nine, separated by one second as we now head into qualifying. So pretty much everybody's out except Fast Halley and T-Dub. T-Dub's head out now. So Halley's just going to be waiting. Get a bit of free track time. Sparrow's out behind Jester. Trying to get a toe along the back. Everyone's just trying to get some temperature build up and some tyre pressures. So like I said, we've got 10 minutes of qualifying. And did the track actually... Have a quick look. Did the track temps change? It actually dropped a degree. So the track temperature and ambient temperature is down to 23 degrees, but the track is still fast. So I don't think times will change too much in, in looking at that. But we'll see. So everyone's pretty much starting their first lap. Trying to find who's... Oh, here's T-Dub. Starting his first lap. Who's going to be first across the line? Oh, m 4 ran a little bit wide there. So, it's going to be Jester to be the first one to set a lap with Sparrow in behind him. So, what has Jester got to put on the board? Jester has got a 32.3. Sparrow just behind him with a 32.4. Piggle. Shooter goes to the top. Dizzy goes to the top with a 31.04. Good lap from Dizzy. Hobbsy now. Up to third with a 32.3. Then we've got Outback coming. What's Outback got? Outback goes to third with a 31-3. The next one across the line here will be T-Dub. Just come through the final chicane, gets a good exit. T-Dub does a 32-4, so he's still just probably just getting those tyres up to temp. There's a massive battle pack going on here. You look at all these guys around here, they're so close to each other. Well, I'd probably look at spacing out a little bit. You don't want the person in front to impede your lap. So Dizzy's going on with it, he's three tenths up. Sitting with the 31-0. What's he got now? He's going to go into the mid-30s. Oh, we've had a spin in the background. Looks like Hobbsy has had a spin, or Jester, sorry. The shooter's gone to the top. With a 30.3. So there you go. Mid-30s, I did say, but we have yet to see Halley put a lap on the board. Outback manages a 30.59.
and Foray's on for a quick one here. He's just starting his next lap. He's already two tenths up through the first section. Here's Halley. Just trying it around. Get some temp in those tyres. Sparrow's pulled off the track. No, that's not Sparrow. That's Shooter. Who's uh, going slowly there? The Jester. Hey, everyone's pretty bunched up. That's kind of weird. I don't know why everyone's bunched up. But anyway. Oh, we've had... Who's that going off there? So she has done a 35-9 that last lap. So obviously that was a bit of a few mistakes there. He's getting ready to set another one. 31.7 for M4A, that's a good lap. Just on three minutes of practice, of qualifying to go. So here's Halley. Let's see what he's got. Deep under brakes, using that hundred board as the braking marker. All the exit curb, keeping it as straight as you can through that little kink. Hundred make marker again. Takes a lot of inside curb. What's this going to be? Thirty point nine. That puts him to fourth at the moment. Shooters going on with it. He's actually might get into the 29s here. 30.08. So just off. Out back with a few little changes. Put a new set of tyres on. We've just over two minutes, under two minutes to go. Pickles on for a good lap here. Go on board with the pickle. It's three tenths up. Bettering it through the section, almost four tenths. through those bumps there lost all that time so set yourself up for one more lap there we go Halley's six tenths up on his best lap so put him into the low 30s 30.44 they put him to second behind Shooter Barris probably called it. Quite a few of them are happy to sit in the pits. There's Sparrow, Jester, Outback and Hobbsy. So just on 20 seconds to go. We'll go back this way. Everyone should be on their last lap. We've got there. We've got T-Dub coming down the back straight up to the chicane. I don't know if he's going to make it for another lap. And he's in 11th. This is quite interesting. I he should have been faster than that. What's he got? Puts him up to six. So, next on the board, we've got M4A. Can M4A better his ninth position?
deep under brakes into the chicane. Uses all the all the entry curb. Nice and smooth on exit. What's he got? Up, oh, stays in ninth. Then we've got Halley coming across. Halley does a 29.54. Four tenths faster than Shooter. So Halley once again takes pole position. We have Pickle coming across the line. Last one to complete a qualifying lap. And he does. Does not better his time, so you're sitting fifth. So qualifying looks like this. Halley with a 129.545 takes bold position. Second place to shooter with a 129.97. Dizzy up into third. Great result for Dizzy with a 130.535. Out back in fourth with a 30.597. Pickle in fifth with a 31.26. T-Dub managed to recover up to sixth position with a 31.365. Jester in seventh with a 31.434. Haymaker in eighth with a 31.492. M4A with a 31.7 flat. Sparrow with a 31.782. And Hobbsy rounds out the field of 11 with a 32.277. So only 11 on the grid tonight, don't know if we'll get any more join mid-race or whatever, but like I said we've got an hour race, if I go that way you can see here on the top right of the screen, race is going to start at 11pm and we're going to be racing through the night into the morning, so hopefully the track's well lit. I did ask most of them to, uh, to turn all their auxiliary lights on on their cars so we can see a bit of a glow as well as their headlights. We can try to make out some of these cars as we go through. But, uh, so we're just in intermission at the moment while we're waiting for the race to uh, set up. It will be a two minute um, waiting period before we get um, the 30 second light the guys to turn turn the cars on start the engines and then it's only the last last section of the track that's a formation lap double file and then we're into it into it for an hour so remember it is an hour race so as you can see it's already dark fair bit of light there which is good there has been a bit of uh, in both the Feather Knights and the Evo Cup there's been a bit of controversy in regards to blue flags um, but I dare say looking at the grid that we have here these are all uh, experienced drivers in LNR they all these guys understand and obey uh, blue flags so I don't think we'll have any issues tonight So now would be the chance, guys, grab a drink, grab some popcorn or some snacks, get comfy before we go racing, because I think this one is going to be a cracking race. There's going to be a few battle packs all the way through. open well the controller's charged there 30 seconds here we go 30 seconds everyone hit the drive button start the engines with the flashing lights making sure they're all working here's our pole position guy
All the way back down to Hobbsy in 11th. We shall get the roll on now. There we go. Oh, I can't. Gotta wait for the race to start before I can go back to the garage. So here we go, everyone lining up, waiting for that green light. Wait for it. Green, green, green. Let's go racing. Go through the first section. Nice and tidy. Oh, side by side with Shooter. Shooter's not going to be on the inside line here for the next turn. Oh, but... Pally goes really deep under brakes there. Everyone's made it through the first couple of turns, nice and easy. Ali's already starting to pull a little bit of a gap, 1.1 on Shooter. Everyone's through the chicane, nice and easy, which just had to go flying. Up to the sh middle chicane. Everyone seems to find themselves in a nice bit of space. All sparrows. You're mixing it up with with Hob Hobbsy. Well, Pickles haven't looked down the inside. I'm dizzy. Can't quite do it. That's what I'm saying, everyone here is very experienced and some nice gentleman drivers here, so... Oh, we've got M4A in the pits. I missed that. I don't know what happened there. We've got Haymaker here in sitting in 7th. Oh, it looks like Pickles had a look up the inside of Dizzy there. Dizzy's run a little bit wide through the first two corners. And Haymaker's made his way through as well. Unless Dizzy's having a bit of an issue. Haymaker right on the back here. Don't you punt him. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, really deep under brakes there from, from Haymaker. A little bit of a lift there, but in saying that, some of these guys have to have a lift because they are on a controller. So t -Dub's made his way up to third place. Started in sixth, up into third now. Managed to get past Outback and Pickle. But he has got out back right on his back. And he's closing the gap. Oh, teed up a little bit wide there. Oh, a little bit wide again. Outback's going to crawl in here. If Outback can set this up, going through this next fast right, you'll be able to have a look at him at the next chicane. I don't think he's quite close enough there. t dubs managed to, to hold on to that. Metal Shooter and Halley have managed to pull gaps here. Sparrow's in the pits. Don't know what's happened there. We are on board with Pickle. Got Haymaker hounding him. Nice and smooth through there. Dizzy's right on the back of Haymaker as well. It's a three-way battle here for the for fifth position.
Okay, like I said, it is only early days. Only five minutes into an hour race, so everyone's just trying to get comfortable, find their groove, find their pace. Oh, Dizzy takes a little bit of grass there. So, Sparrow, first one to do his compulsory pit stop. What happened to M4A? We have unfortunately lost M4A. Uh, that's very unfortunate. Good racer. But we'll catch him next race. So whether Sparrows looked at doing a compulsory pit stop early, thinking that track temp's not going to change much, and the degradation of the tyres isn't going to be much to get it out of the way. Here we are on board with Pickle. He's trying to claw his way back to Outback and teed up. I'll tell you what, a top five result for Pickle here will be an ep epic recovery for him considering his run in the past. Haymaker still with him. So Halley's lost it a little bit, lost a little bit of time there. He he's come back to shoot us, so it's only a second between them now. So these two here, T Dub and Outback, they're pretty much on par for pace. So it'll be whoever makes the mistake, the other will gain. Going on board for a lap with T Dub. Smooth through there. A little slight lift, but keeps the momentum up. The gap is 0.8 of a second back to Outback. Back is good under brakes, manages to close it back in a little bit. So everyone's pretty much starting to space themselves out. See a few little battle packs going on here. Between T-Dub and Outback, Pickle Haymaker and Dizzy. Looks like Pickle's managed to bridge a bit of a gap now to Haymaker. Haymaker's now back into the clutches of Dizzy. So Sparrow is a lap down because he has already done his compulsory stop. So Halley's managed to pull that gap back now. 
the 2.2 Our back's right on the back of TW. Oh, TW's run a little bit wide. This is going to be it. Our back goes through up into third. TW won't let that get away. He'll claw his way back. Pickle's still sitting comfortably in fifth out on his own but that's a good thing now he can just concentrate on doing laps and closing the gap on teed up oh well, we've got haymaker shortcuts the chicane there and dizzy's closed right up onto the back of him here Can he set up a move? Probably not close enough to do it through here. I'm probably looking at the first chicane section. Get a good run through all those right-handers. Uh, M4A is still in the pits. So he's come back. Obviously he's had internet issues, but... Okay. Good for coming back, M4A. Good to have you back on track, mate. Obviously sitting in eighth. T-Dub's pushing hard to gain back that spot. Back to Outback. Shooter's just trying to close that gap on Halley, but it's just not moving. But he's got nine and a half seconds back to third position. So he's got a comfortable, comfortable spot. And there's the outback in third at the moment. Pushing hard to try to bridge a gap. He's got a 1.4 second gap on T-Dub in fourth. And then we go back to 3.9 seconds back to Pickle from, from T-Dub. And then there's 4.3 seconds from Pickle back to Haymaker. And... Dizzy's only 0.6 behind Haymaker, so it's on for 6th and 7th. He's looking to set that move up. Trying to get a good exit there. He's two tenths faster that lap. Haymaker's gone a little bit wide, because you can close in here. This is where you need to be patient, set yourself up. Get good exits here. And he lost a lot of time there. Going to get a good run through here, take a bit of curb. There you go, Haymaker's used a bit too much curb. He's got some grass and dirt, but slowed his exit. Still quite not close enough for, for Dizzy to have a look. And we look out the back of Haymaker, watching Dizzy, seeing what he can do. Where's he going to have that look? through the hairpin there. Haymaker's got a good exit. But Dizzy can just seem to close in under brakes. Still 0.2 of a second. There's nothing in it here. Haymaker's run wide again there. Ooh, back to first. Almost compression lock. That actually threw Dizzy off a bit there. I don't think he was expecting that. 
for him to slow up that much. But he did a good, good job and jumping on the brakes, so there's no contact. He will be closing that gap back. Now Hobbs is not too far away from the back of these two. The more these guys battle, the more Hobbs is going to work his way up to this group. So I'll keep an eye on that. Oh, out. Outbacks managed to pull a little bit more of a gap on, on teed up. Back to two, out to 2.6 seconds now. And then 3.2 back to Pickle. Oh, it's on here. Here we go, Dizzy. He's having a look up the inside. And he makes it stick. Good move. Great move. Now, has Haymaker got anything to give back to him? He leaves it in third through that section so the car stays nice and settled. And gets a good run through there. Just bridging the gap. Depth is 0.7 now. Well, Haymaker will be trying. Sparrow is still the only one that's done the compulsory stop. Poor M4A is still, still stuck in the pits with internet issues. It's very unfortunate. So the gap now is just on three seconds from T Dub back to Pickle. As we're now going looking at 17 minutes into the race, 43 to go. Pickle is closing the gap here. He's, he's driving very well. Let's jump on board for a lap with Mr. Pickle. There he is. Hard at work. Sporting the True Blue Motorsport racing suit. through that section there. Doesn't take a lot of curb so the car stays nice and settled. Nice through that section there. A little bit of a lift just to let the car turn in. Slowly closing the gap, it's down to 2.4. be interesting to see what the lap times are between T Dub and Pickle. Let's have a look. T Dub does a 31.81, Pickle does a 31.2, so he's gaining that six, six tenths of a second per lap. It won't be too much longer and Pickle's going to be on the back of T-Dub here. And Dizzy's managed to bridge a good gap now, 2.6 seconds ahead of Haymaker. And then from Haymaker, 3.8 back to Hobbsy. So the gap seems to be fluctuating here between Halley and Shooter. Between one and a half to two and a half seconds. Jump on board here. And let's watch 
Halley do those Halley things and sit back and listen and enjoy. just doing those alley things just holding that gap back to shoot off Hobbsy's now only 1.4 seconds behind Haymaker so Haymaker's probably made another small mistake you now Pickle was right on the back here of T-Dub but T-Dub's decided to take his pit stop Get out of that battle pack and try for an undercut. So it'll be interesting to see. There's people coming in the next lap as well. But we'll just have to wait and see. So T Dub's the first one, pretty much of the front runners, to do their stop. We have 38 minutes to go. See. Yeah, it's getting close between Haymaker and Hobbsy. Pickle's staying out. So T Dub has gone his compulsory stop, comes back out in eighth. Dizzy's sitting comfortably in fifth at the moment. 3.6 seconds behind Pickle. And looks like he's closing in. It is still fluctuating, it's still back to one second now between Halley and Shooter. So 
we'll just go back to the board. So pretty much T Dub and Sparrow are only ones so far. But Sparrow is two laps down, so I dare say he's had some issues there. So it's the one we need to watch is Pickle here. Where Pickle comes in and how good of a pit stop he does. Just to where he's going to come out in regards to T-Dub. Whether he's staying out here to, to push some more laps to see if he can manage to gain some more time. But then it's, it's back to three seconds now. Back to, to Dizzy. So Dizzy is starting to close in a bit. Then we got Haymaker and Hobbsy. Still 1.8 seconds. It's not really closing much. Outback's pretty much out on his own. He's 14 seconds back from Shooter. So Pickle is slowly coming back into the clutches of Dizzy. Dizzy's managed to, to bridge the gap from Haymaker, get out on his own and start doing some consistent laps. That's uh, staying close between these two. On board with people here. Nice and smooth. Does he come in or is he going to stay out? No, he stays out, does another lap. Dizzy's coming in quick. He's only 1.7 behind him now. 32-0 against the 30.9. So Dizzy's closed in by over a second on that lap. Get helmet cam with Dizzy. Down to one point two. Some people can just tend to drive better at night. Some people tend to be a little bit more cautious uh, and then lose a little bit of time just to slow up mistakes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But Dizzy's on a really good run here. Goes in right into the back of Piggle. Down to one second. And Hobbsy now is under a second back. Dizzy goes deep under brakes there. Come back to them. So Hobbsy did get past Haymaker, but Hobbsy's dived into the pits. So I'll have to watch when 
Haymaker makes his pit stop where he comes back. The Hobbs is right on the back of Pickle now. Oh, Pickle goes a little bit wide, catches a bit of dirt. Still think Dizzy's a little bit too far back at the moment. Oh, Pickle's run a little bit wide there. Dizzy's going to try to get around the outside. Too wide, I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, Dizzy's on the grass. They gave each other as much room as they can, but that's such a tight section there. And as soon as you touch the grass, you're pretty much a passenger. That's very unfortunate for Dizzy. He moves to the side. Haymaker comes through. So I dare say Dizzy will be coming in to make a pit stop. That's very unfortunate. Let's see if we can see how much damage he's got. Yeah, quite a bit of damage there, so I dare say he's hit that tyre bundle on the right-hand side of the track. At the chicane. That's very unfortunate, but that, that is just a racing incident. That's, like I said, very tight through that section there. The car would have just drifted out, and but it would have been slight contact. Or he's just tried to leave enough room, and the tyre just touched the grass as he put his foot on the brake. And he had nowhere to go. Very unfortunate. So just under halfway, still got uh, Halley out in front. Pickle has actually gone into the pits as well. So we need to watch. I dare say T Dub would be absolutely flying. He comes T Dub now up to the final chicane. So we need to watch him. And Pickle. Pickle's dropped. Tito's gone through the chicane. Pickle's going to gain here. Yep, Pickle has managed to overcut Tito by about two or three seconds. That's a great result there for Pickle. Halley now managed to push back out to 2.1 over Shooter. Haymaker sitting in fourth, yet to pit. Obzi has done his pit and has come back out in seventh. So we'll have a quick look. We'll look at the map. See where everyone's sitting in the map. So Halley and Shooter are coming up to the final chicane. About to start lap 20. Oh, pardon me. Start lap 22. And then we've got Outback coming up to the hairpin. Yet to pit as well. And then Haymaker is on the first, the second chicane in the back section. Then we go to Pickle, who has pitted. 4.3 seconds from him back to T-Dub and then from him Hobbsy's just coming through the final chicane onto the, onto the front straight sitting in 7th then back to 8th for Sparrow who's just coming around the back section up to the hairpin and Dizzy back out on track that's good to see after a lengthy stop to fix the damage, he is back out in ninth. Don't know how far behind Sparry is, but let's have a look. Is he on the same lap as Sparrow? Or possibly. 
could be on the same lap as Sparrow. So Dizzy could work his way back here and get it eighth, eighth place. So Pickle yet 3.7 seconds ahead of T-Dub. Sitting in fifth at the moment. So who's yet to stop Haymaker? Haymaker, Halley, Outback and shoot off. So just under 25 minutes to go. There is no designated time for pit stops. It's as soon as race starts and pit window opens, you can do your designated stop. There's no actually allocated pit window time. And I believe you've got to have it done by uh, within the last two minutes. So, quickly go back here. I want to check something as well. Track temp has dropped overnight down to 18 degrees the track is still fast so I don't see it changing too much so it's as you can see it's 24 minutes to go but it we started at 11 it is now 2.51 a.m. racing into the morning Hobbsy's actually looked like he's flying at the moment. So if you interest we have to watch where when Haymaker pits. We do know that Hobbsy did get past him just before Hobbsy pitted. So we'll have to keep an eye on them to see where they both come out and what position. T dub's trying to claw back to pickle. We go shooters bit the bullet. And he's coming for his stop. Nicely on the marks there. So Outback still pushing too. Hasn't done a pit stop yet. Dizzy's trying to claw his way back up to the Sparrow. He's got 22 minutes to do it. It's possible. Sparrow's pushing hard. Go on board for a lap with the Sparrow. Take into consideration too, this man is on a controller and does a fantastic job. on the brakes through the chicane oh, a little bit of a slide happening there good save a little bit wide there all oh, under the grass keeps it going Sparrow would be aware of it that he's got Metal Shooter behind him who is a lap ahead. So once it gets to one second, Shooter will be shown the blue flag. Oh, he's gone a bit wide there. So this is where it'll be. He'll be shown blue flags in a second. And as you see, he stays wide. Let's Shooter through. No problems at all. As the way it should be. Well done, Sparrow. 
the rules state that if you are shown a blue flag where there's a faster car approaching you, that you move aside as soon as you can, safely, to let the car go by. Understandably, if you are in your own little battle park and you're about to be lapsed, yes, you've got to continue your battle, but you've also got to recognise that the car behind you that's faster coming through, it's better off to let him go, because if you back out of it, the car that you're battling is going to have to back out of it too to let them go through, so you end up not really watching too much, losing too much time. So we've still got Halley, Haymaker, and Outback to pit, but looks like Outback has come in, doing his stop. And as Shooter comes down the front straight, he'll take his spot back to third. And it looks like Halley's come in as well. So all the front runners are in. Except Haymaker. Haymaker always pits late. I don't understand why, but anyway. Everyone runs to their own. Haymaker just coming on the back straight up to the last chicane looks like Halley will be dropped in a second and sent out here's Haymaker there he's been dropped now Haymaker just crosses the start finish line as Halley starts heading out so I don't think it'll be too much longer before Halley's onto the back of Haymaker. And there's Shooter, just coming onto the front straight now. So, a bit of a gap. Looks like Halley's managed to bridge a bit of a gap. A bit more on top of Shoemaker, aren't uh, Shooter. And there's Shooter going through turns two. Outback just coming up to the chicane. And 11 seconds there back to Pickle and 3.7 still 3.7 back to T-Dub so it's staying close between these these lot so the gap now is 9.6 seconds back to Shooter so either Shooter had an issue in the pits or Ty just had an absolutely cracking pit stop no mistakes whatsoever There we go, Haymaker's in the pits. So we need to watch where Hobbsy. Where's Hobbsy? Just coming down the front straight, coming up to the front chicane. Ooh, this would be interesting actually. I think Haymaker might might have him here. Oh, he's yet to stop. He's pulled into his pit bay now. Hobbsy's just gone through the back chicane, coming up over the hill to the hairpin. Oh, he's run very well. Oh, and hit the wall too. Oh, there'll be a lot of damage there. But he's staying into it. As he's on the back straight, coming up to the, the final chicane. Haymaker's been dropped. 
and he's coming out. I dare say Haymaker's got that position back from him. Sure has. So as it stands, we've got Halley out in front. Just on nine seconds back to Shooter. Outback's probably about oh, 20 odd seconds back. Then we've got Pickle in fourth. Just coming up over the hill, down to the hairpin. 4.2 seconds back to T-Dub. Then eight seconds from T-Dub back to Haymaker. Six second gap back to Hobbsy. That slight mistake would have cost him a bit of time there. But Haymaker's driven really well to get to bridge that gap back. Oh, and he's done the same thing again. But he's kept it off the wall that time. And then, sorry, Sparrow, sitting in eighth. Ooh, a little bit wide. Coming up to the first chicane. And then there's Dizzy. So Dizzy is, is catching up on Sparrow. Sparrow just went through the front chicane. And here's Dizzy, 9.5 seconds back. And unfortunate for M4A. Still in the pits with internet issues. But still, still should get points, I believe, for, for being here. And we'll take a top 10. So, between Pickle and T-Dub, it's pretty much on par. Time hasn't really changed much. It's fluctuating between three and a half to four seconds per lap. So their lap time should be pretty close, I think. Last lap was a 32.36 for T-Dub and a 32.61 for Pickle. So it's pretty close. Just on 12 minutes to go. And it's almost 4 a.m. Don't know when the sun will come up, but because I've got to be out for a while. But it's actually not not too bad of a track for for lighting. So it's actually been quite quite good to see. You see most of the cars, you identify them. Ali's last lap was a 29.8. So uh, this man surely can control whatever car you throw at him and consistently punching out fast times. This lap will be a 28.8. Wow, that's just incredible. And once again, that's just Halley doing those Halley things. A lot of talent, this kid. Hard man to catch, hard man to beat. So the question now is, hey, can Haymaker catch up to T-Dub, who's eight seconds ahead of him? He's running out of time, 11 and a half minutes to go. Pickles managed to bridge the gap a bit more to teed up back to five seconds now. Oh, Outback's had a massive moment. What's happened there? Where is that? That's... Oh, okay, so... Through the back chicane. Coming up over the hill. And he's disconnected. Oh, so whether he was having internet issues earlier on in the night. Whether he's glitched out, oh, I'm not too sure. Because it didn't quite look like he had damage there. But that's actually put our mate here, Pickle, up into a podium position. 
we've just on 10 minutes to go so this will be a epic result for pickle to take a podium spot it'll be a great boost in confidence for him you know, he's, I know he's been struggling as of late with with speed and his wheel and and pedal setup it's been giving him some problems but when this man is on he is a hard man to catch himself so this will be a great result if he can hold on to third so dizzy has clawed that gap back and he has passed farah and he's taken the seventh spot So I think maybe Sparrow might have had a bit of a problem because he was at nine seconds and that's only been a few few laps. So Haymaker now six seconds back to T dub. He's, he's slowly closing this gap. He's pushing hard. Just under nine minutes to go. There he is there in the background. He just goes through the front chicane. And he comes Haymaker through the chicane as well. Judas just comfortably sitting in second. He's 16 seconds behind Halley. And he's about 50 seconds ahead of, of Pickle. So, not a lot of action for Shooter tonight. But just comfortably sitting, sitting there doing his consistent laps. Dizzy. We'll watch a lap with Dizzy. Nice and smooth through the front chicane. Ooh, a little bit bumpy through there. Managed to keep on track, but Up over the hill. Down to the hairpin. Back into first. Gets turned in nicely. Back on the throttle nice and early. He's already pulled a five second gap on, on Sparrow. So he's pushing hard. Next in line for him would be Hobbsy. But he's 35 seconds up, up ahead. I'd don't know if you can do that in just under seven minutes. Oh, is Pickle? Pickle's had a moment. He's now, what, four seconds back to the T dub. Peter punches the sign out of the way. Whoever put that there. <laughs> One seven seven drive through for track limits. RMR dizzy. Oh dizzy. After all that work climbing your way back. And I think he's just just quit. Yeah, he did actually. He just left. <sighs> Wait, that a kick in the guts. So 
obviously Pickle made a slight mistake and clo the gap closed a little bit back to T-Dub, but Pickle's got his head back in the game, smashing out those laps, and he's managed to push the gap back out now to five seconds. We've just on five minutes to go. So I dare say there's about three or four laps left. I'll quickly go back to the garage. And have a look, here comes Halley now to start lap 36. From him back to Shooter. Shooter's just on the back straight now coming up to the, head, the final chicane. And then from him back to third, which is Pickle. Just coming through the fast left handers there, coming up to the front chicane. And then, like I said, five seconds behind him is T-Dub. And then from T-Dub, back to three seconds, back to Haymaker. Haymaker is closing in. So, still a bit of time. He might be able to have a lunge here. From there, it's about half a lap back to Hobbsy. He's just coming through turn two and three. And Sparrow's on the back straight, coming up to the hairpin. Up to the chicane, I mean, before he hits the front straight. So we have lost quite a few. We have lost Outback, we have lost Dizzy, and we have lost M4A. So it's on here, Haymaker is closing that gap down to 2.3 now. Three minutes to go. Oh, he had to downshift there. Tried to carry a bit too much speed in. Close right up on the back of him now. Just on one second. A couple of laps to go, probably two or three laps. I dare say one more lap after this. So yeah, Ali will we'll have one more lap after this. Let's go back. Haymaker is still closing in. It's under a second now. And they've got enough fast Halley coming up. And this is the situation I was talking about where Halley is a lap. Uh, the faster car, so these guys will get shown a blue flag, but these bikes are battling for position. So realistically, does Heli need to push to go past? Not really. Let's 
see that might hold him off here. So there we go. Haymaker's been shown a blue flag. And this is it. Last lap now. They make us trying so bad. Whoa, a bit too hard. The heli will come around him. Now T double will be showing blue flags. To let him know that Halley's there. Yes, he's flashing his lights, but he's still trying to bridge that gap back to Haymaker. Halley's sliding all over the place. There, T dub just backed out of it that little bit, just to let him go. And that's managed to climb, close the gap between Haymaker and T-Dub right up now. So, Halley will finish the race. And these guys here will actually finish their positions. So there we go. Halley takes the, po takes the position and the race win for round three. Here comes Shooter up on the back straight. Just through the last chicane onto the main straight to take second place on the podium in round three of the Pheasant Knights. And then back to the third spot on the podium I mean, still got half a lap to go, but very well deserved by this man who's had, a, like I said, a tremendous <laughs> rough patch. This should do Pickle the world of good for a boast of confidence in knowing that it's there when, he, when, he, when he's got it. So, it did have that unfortunate incident with, with Dizzy. There was only slight contact, and actually, ironically, the same thing happened to Pickle on Thursday night in the Evo Cup. He was in the same position as Dizzy, but then bounced back. Here he comes around the last corner onto the straight to take the final step on the podium. On your Pickle, well done. And there we go, that's the final final result for round three of the Feather Knights series not fast Halley out there cooking tyres with the race win and the fastest lap I believe look at that only a few dirty laps but with a 128.8 being his fastest lap second place was Shooter Third place was Pickle. Tito managed to hold off Haymaker for fourth. Got a good fight back from Haymaker for fifth spot. Hobbsy in sixth. Sparrow in seventh. Aramar Dizzy, even with the the drive through penalty, managed eighth. Outback with the disconnection, unfortunately, with ninth. Oh, Jester, that's the other one that we missed. Jester in 10th, M4A in 11th. So that's it guys, thank you so much for joining and and watching the Pheasant Nights. If you, if you enjoy watching this, remember Thursday nights too, we have the Evo Cup. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now this will be uploaded tomorrow on my YouTube channel as well, so it will always be there for everyone to see. Feel free to share, drop a comment, whatever. Much appreciated. So, thanks for watching and tune in on Thursday nights for round four of the Evo Cup. And we'll do it all again. Cheers.